Hi there, I'm Andy Hillier and in this guitar lesson I'm going to teach you how to play The Man Who Loves You The Most by Zac Brown Band. Um, I've already done a video on the intro, um, so that's a separate video, you can watch that one if you want to do the uh, intro, but for the rest of the song I'm going to teach you it in this lesson. Just before I do, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, if you could give me a like on the video, uh, also leave me some comments in the comment section, including any songs you'd like me to do a video on. So to play this song we need to tune our guitar all down a semitone so you end up with E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat and E flat so everything's down a semitone. Okay so the verse goes this. So that's the first half of it and it's exactly the same in the second half. So all we're doing is playing an E chord which is actually E flat, but because we're all tuned down the same time, but I'm going to call them what the chord would be called if the guitar was tuned up to standard pitch. So the E chord, first finger on G1, second finger on A2, third finger D2. Then it goes to a B5 chord, which is just your first finger A2, third finger on D4, little finger on G4. So you're going to go E, 2, 3, B5, then to an A chord which is just D2, G2, and B2. And the rhythm for that, you can just go. So for the E chord, down, down, up, and then on the B5, go down, down, and then on the A chord, go down, down, up, up, down, or something similar to those, so you get this. And it just does that four times. Verse. So that's the verse, it just goes along like that, and then we get the bridge part which goes. So for that we've got two beats of B, which is your first finger A to third finger across the D, G and the B strings of the fourth fret. Or alternatively, you could use three different fingers on that. So you use all four different fingers, sorry. And then uh, it goes to C sharp minor, which is your first finger A4, second finger on B5, third finger D6, little finger on G6, so it's C sharp minor. Then it goes back down to an A chord. Then we get another bar of B minor, C sharp, mi sorry, B, C sharp minor, then down to A for two beats, so it's a bar of two, four, and then it's a bar of B for four beats. So you've got to watch out that bar 21, there's only two beats in it, the rest of them have got um, four beats in it. So let's try the bridge, here we go, one, two, three, four. Now that takes us to the chorus, and that sounds like this. So for that we've got an E chord for a bar. Then it goes E to A, so the E lasts for one and a half beats and then it goes to an A for the rest of the bar. So you get one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then we get C sharp minor for two beats, B for two beats, then A for four beats. So let's play the first four bars of the chorus, here we go, three, four. We get another bar V, then E to A, and then we get F sharp minor. First finger barred across all the strings on the second fret, third finger A, 
four, little finger D four. And then it's got this little, in the last bar we get F sharp minor. We play the note E four and then hit a B chord. So that last bar goes. So let's try the whole chorus, here we go, ready, and. And then after the first chorus, it goes to an interlude. It sounds like this. So for that, you've got a bar of E, two beats on A, two beats on C sharp minor, two beats on A again, two beats on E, then it goes A, this E slash G sharp, which is your first finger on D2, third finger G4, little finger on B5, and second finger on the E4 nearest to your face, then F sharp minor, then E. So that last bar goes. Let's try the whole interlude, here we go, three, four. Then it goes back to the verse, bridge, and chorus again. At the end of the second chorus, it goes to the middle eight. So let me play the middle eight for you. Here it goes. So for that we've got a bar of C sharp minor which kind of leads in as an intro to the middle eight. Uh, and then we've got a bar of C sharp minor, E to A, uh, E lasts for one and a half beats. Then E for a bar, then you've got E slash G sharp like we had in the interlude, to a B chord, then C sharp minor, and then a bar of two four again, E, E slash G, A, and then you hold the A into the next bar, and then we've got this bit, which is just playing the E and the B strings nearest the floor, and I'm playing fret 11 on the A string, then fret 7, then fret 4, then open, and then a B chord to finish. So let's just try that middle eight, here we go. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then that'll go back to the chorus. Well, I hope you've got something out of that guitar lesson. Uh, if you've enjoyed it, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, that really helps me out. My name's Andy Hillier, so you just click that subscribe button and the notification as well. If you could give me a like on the video, that'd be amazing, and leave me some comments in the comment section, including any songs you wanna do, what you've thought of the video, where in the world you're from. And if you really wanna help me out, there's some merchandise down below as well, t-shirts and mugs. Uh, that All the money helps me uh, produce these videos. Thanks for watching this, I've been Andy Hillier and I'll see you next time.